Oh my gosh. Dude, that is a blue frog. Look at that frog. Oh my gosh, we gotta catch this frog, guys. I, I can't believe what I'm looking at. This is insane. I mean, we are talking about a literal unicorn right here. This is crazy. I think we need to come back at night. You got him, you got him. Oh, whoa, whoa, no! Over the years, we have featured a plethora of frog species. Some of them were tiny and poisonous. Some of them jumped on my face. Some of them were giant and screamy. There it is, the famous sound that they meow, make. Meow, meow, meow. Wow. And some of them were even semi-transparent. The point is that I was able to safely catch and successfully get them up close for the cameras so we could learn about what makes them so unique. But what if I told you that there was a frog that was impossible to catch and was also blue? <coughs> Hold up, a blue frog? Yes, you heard me right, a blue frog. This encounter happened on the island of Middle Bass, located in Lake Erie. The following series of events will play out in chronological order. Prepare yourselves because you are about to witness the unbelievable. Oh my gosh. What? Dude, that is a blue frog. Look at that frog. Where? Right there. Oh my gosh, we gotta catch this frog, guys. I, I can't believe what I'm looking at. This is insane. I've actually read about this before. This is insanely rare. Every once in a while, based on limitations within genetic dynamics, a frog will sometimes lose pigmentation through its genetic line and will be blue in coloration. I mean, we are talking about a literal unicorn right here. This is crazy. Oh, he moved. There he is, there he is. I still see him. Oh, he can't, he can't make it through there. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Maybe he'll come back this way. Still see him? No. Dude, that was crazy. That was crazy. Okay, hold on, I'm coming back to you. I think we need to come back at night. If we come back at night and we see that frog, I can spot mm. it with a flashlight and I don't think it'll jump. I couldn't even get close. Okay. If we can catch that frog. Holy cow, that will be insane. A blue frog. I cannot believe what I just saw. If he comes back out at night, we're definitely gonna get him. Let's do it. So how do you catch the uncatchable frog? I'm gonna build a contraption. Well, when I chased after this frog, the first thing it did was hop across all the duckweed and disappear back Whoa. and into the swamp. And I've got this long wooden beam and I'm going to secure my net to the beam. If I don't have to touch the water, even better. Now bullfrogs have a tendency to breed pretty territorial. So I think even though the fact that I chased it back into the marsh, it's still going to return to that spot to defend its little claim right there. That is good and secure and will give me several more feet of reach. All right, guys, this is it. We're gonna catch ourselves a blue bullfrog. Okay, guys, sun has set. We're gonna catch ourselves a blue bullfrog. Okay, it's just down the way here. Let's uh, sneak up and see if it's back in its spot. There he is. Okay. Right there, he's way closer to me. Oh, shoot. This frog is definitely tough to catch. Definitely knows what we're on to him. Oh! Don't do it by hand. It's gonna be slippy. Use the net. Put it right under him. Oh! behind. Hang on, let me get the light on him. There he goes, there he goes, right there, right there, right there. He, he's going. Oh. oh, oh, there he goes. I see him, I see him, I see him. Still there. Still there. I gotta go on the other side of my fence. Okay. I think we're gonna get him. 
the length of the net is now actually hurting me. Oh, 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 oh. I see him. No. No. Dang it. Gosh, he's way back in there. Did we lose him? I lost him. Dang it. It was literally inches from my hand right here. I should have gone for the hand catch, man. I should have gone for the hand catch. Dude, he's all the way back here in those reeds. I can't get him. Oh, but, but, here's the thing. We tried to catch him in daylight. He went all the way back there and came all the way right back to this spot. There's a good chance this frog will be back. I think I got to catch him by hand. He's too smart for the net. This frog knows exactly what is happening. He's impossible to catch. This is crazy, absolutely crazy. Okay, this is day two. We are back to the spot where the blue bullfrog was spotted yesterday. And this morning it has returned to its territory, which certainly proves my theory that this frog is running this little pocket of water. Now, I can see the frog, I'm not going to try to catch it during daylight. It is way too smart. This may be the smartest frog I've ever encountered. I mean, it was playing cat and mouse with me last night. It was just a game. It led me back into the reeds. I got bitten up by mosquitoes. It was rough. I've never had a more difficult struggle catching a frog. So what we're gonna do is wait until sun gets low in the sky again, just at sunset, when this frog is back in the spot, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna take another attempt. I will attempt with the net at first, but if it gets close, gotta use my hand. Last night, the frog was literally about a foot and a half away from me and I defaulted to the net. I should have gone with my gut and tried to catch it with my hand and I might've had it, but we're gonna give it one more shot tonight. Okay, here we go. The third attempt at catching the blue bullfrog. And what I've done tonight is brought a smaller net plus the long extended net. Gotta up our chances. And if it's not with the net, it's going to be with my hand. Yes, that's him, that's him, that's him. You ready? Yep. You got him, you got him. Oh, 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 no, 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 what? No. Oh my gosh, dude, you had him. Hold on, let's rewind and slow it down. Look at the evasive maneuver this frog pulls off as it springs from inside the net and does a full nose dive back into the water and disappears beneath the duckweed. Now look at this, freeze frame, zoom in, my hand is less than an inch away from making a swooping and unbelievable catch. But I missed it. Ah, oh, it was so close. Dude, I had him. I know, I saw him. Are you kidding me? I can't believe that just happened. There's nothing more frustrating than literally having the frog you've been trying to catch for three days in your net and then have it spring out just as I was trying to get my hand in there to keep him locked in position. Oh, don't got him yet. We're going to keep trying. Is it day three? Day three. Attempt number four. four? Mm -hmm. Official attempt number four. The blue frog is back walk over to the car and get the net. Do you guys believe in miracles? Is it possible to catch a blue frog? We're about to find out. This is it. It is our last day. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, it's already on to us. And that's it. There he goes. All the way back. I don't think we even had a chance. I literally wasn't even able to set foot in the water. The legend of the blue frog. There he goes. Went back further. 
that's it. The blue frog is officially uncatchable. There is a frog that is not capable of being caught by Coyote Peterson. Well, maybe we'll have to return to Middle Bass Island at some point to see if the blue frog still manages to evade capture. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild and impossible to catch. We'll see you on the next adventure. The legend of the blue frog persists. Will we catch Bluey on our next adventure? Stay tuned. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy.